Hello everybody out there. This is Kat Kerr live from Jacksonville, Florida Studio OQ1. And I have some exciting news from heaven. Guess what? They know what's going on. Even if we don't, even if the world doesn't, even if the Democrats, the liberals, and the fake news. You're being rude. You're fake. You're fake news. You're fake news. Stop being rude. You're fake news. I agree with the president. Yes. They are fake, and I hope you are not listening to any of the fake news because they will not give you the truth ever. They're here for their self and the liberals' agenda. That's why they're here. That's why they bring great confusion. That's why they have turned a lot of people who wouldn't even normally be against anything, against justice, liberty, you know, freedom, not twisted, not socialism, not communism, not the dark side. We are of the light. If we're the body of Christ, you are in the light. And guess what? You are for life, not for ending it. Especially in babies. Yes, I'm going to bring that up. And you know what? God says that himself from the throne. He doesn't want anyone to harm the babies. If they do, they already have something against them from God himself, from his word. And I can tell you right now, if you side with that side, you are saying it's okay to do that, in case you ever wondered. Okay, you're not just picking a political party right now. You're, you're picking those who stand for truth, justice, liberty, and freedom, or those who want to control, who want to end the lives of babies, allow all kind of defilement to go on in our schools with our children. That is what the truth is. So side with the side that wants God to be in this country, not try to hide him or kick him out or silence him. He has his own way of being heard. In case you wondered, yes, he does. He holds the air we breathe, every one of us. So I hope you're on the side of the light of justice, liberty, and freedom. Not the fake news, not the Democrats. Now I know not every Democrat has sold out to the enemy. But many of them have, especially those who are in, think they're in power. You're not in power, people. You're in an office. You're in the office of whatever you hold, whatever position you hold, whether it is a, you know, whether it's a, whether it's a, <laughs> whether you're in any kind of office, no matter what position that is, it's only an office. You're not a dictator. You're not in power. So stop trying to pretend that you are. Because I can tell you that Pelosi and all the others who think they have power, it's about to be stripped away. And they have no future because Trump is going to win. God's not even going to wait to the end of this broadcast. Trump will win in November because he will continue to have justice, liberty, and freedom in America. America belongs to God. He chooses, and even the Bible says, he chooses who is put up and who is put down. And in this time, he's still leading Trump up. So get used to it, or go live somewhere else. Because this country is about to be accelerated, uh, fast forward into its destiny. All those of you who wondered if we're going to go down the tube, I'm not. God's not. So make sure you're on the side that you need to be to be, be celebrating. Why do I have a sparkle on? I'm celebrating the triumph of God in the elections that he will win and Trump will win. Get ready for a lot more of God in this country. And I know many of you think your rights have been taken away. You've been stuck in a corner somewhere. God wants us to be together. He wants us to worship together, especially and I know literally, not really legal to keep us from gathering together in the house of worship. And I can tell you a lot of this stuff you're experiencing right now is about to pass away. It's going to pass just like the wind does. God said it's only a virus. It will pass. The mask will be a thing of the past. Your quarantining will be a thing of the past. Your stay at home thing will be a thing of the past. So get ready to be accelerated with those who are trusting God and voting for Trump. 
You can see our big display right here, Trump 2020. A friend of mine, precious friend of mine, Charlotte in Canada, made this artwork for me. And I'm very excited about it. The good old red, white, and blue is not going to stop flying. We won't have some other flag of some liberal or some green plan or some person who doesn't even know what time it is in the day. I tell you, I think the Democrats have hurt themselves more than anyone else out here on the planet because they all have a different plan. They have their own agenda. They're not even unified. The only thing they're unified for is to try to get rid of Trump, and that's not going to happen. And since you've wasted so much time and all your millions and billions of dollars of all your celebrity friends and other people out there, wicked people in high places and other countries have been given to you, Flush it down the toilet because that's what you've done with it. It isn't going to help you. It's not going to give you power over the American people. It's not going to put your person in office. God's already made that choice. So I hope you're celebrating already. This comes directly from heaven. I don't get my information from man. Why would I? When I have a direct line to heaven, God calls me his revelator. I'm here to reveal heaven on earth. And also his plans for planet Earth, his plans for the body of Christ, and their great plans. It's no wonder Trump said, let's make America great again. Why wouldn't he? Because he's connected to what God wants. And let me tell you, it's going to be better even than what we stepped out of. Even in all this mess that's going on, you need to realize that the Bible, the Word of God says... That even in the presence of our enemies, that would be the liberals, and Satan's army, we have to put them in there too. Because of course Satan's involved in all this. Satan wants to kill, steal, control, and destroy. Hey, that sounds something very familiar to another group I know. Anyway, so God's going to have his way in this time. He made everything that is, that was, that ever will be. He holds not just time in his hand. He holds the air you breathe in his hand. So I'd be really careful if you're speaking against God or his son Jesus. You're already on a list. I wouldn't want to be on that list. This isn't even a God, a list God's making. This is a list the devil's making. Who can I use? Who can I inflame? Who can I cause to hate? Who can I use to do that with? Well, they're making themselves pretty clear. So yes, Satan's making a list too. He's going to come to use you and use that group until there's nothing left of them. And when they lose, guess what? God may have mercy on you, but Satan won't. There's no mercy, no grace, no hope, no life, no future with that devil. So if you're siding with him and his plans, you do need a lot of prayer. I would love to see everybody come together in unity and harmony in this country, America, right? The land of the brave, the free. Let me tell you what. We've been brave. Many people have been brave to speak up and say what they really think. What is in the layers of your soul? Is it righteousness, justice, and liberty and freedom? Or is it control, death, destruction, rioting? I believe every person in this country has a right to protest. That's one of the things we've always been big about. We all have a voice. You have a right to protest. You don't have a right to kill. No one. You don't have a right to destroy buildings or people or their lives on either side. We are here to have justice and freedom, a voice to speak for freedom. So yes, I'm all for you. If you want to protest peacefully and let your thoughts and your ideas be known, but you don't have the right to go into evil and kill and destroy, that comes from the dark side. I don't think I'd want to get on that side. They don't have a very good end. They actually have no future whatsoever. So I will tell you this. In this Trump 2020 campaigning, I will be doing all the way up into the winning of Trump on Election Day. However that happens, God has assured me, the, heaven, the God of heaven and earth has assured me, Trump will win. And you can try to fight against God. But you never win when you do that. So God, I pray for all those right now where there's still time to pray for them. That their eyes be opened, that their souls be cleaned and free from the hate, from the criticism, from the despising, from the violence. Let them be free of all that, God. And let them trust you. 
and step into the light from the darkness. Step into the kingdom of light from the kingdom of darkness, God. Let them know you. Let them belong to you. Let them not miss their destiny, God. Because I know there's a lot of family members right now praying for their family members. If they're on that side, they want death and destruction and control and socialism and communism. Yes, please pray for your family members. Don't fight with them. It's not going to work. Don't even try to convince them that's not going to work either. Whatever your soul is full of, that's what you're going to believe. That's what you're going to choose. That's what you're going to talk about. So pray for all of them. When they lose and Trump wins, they will also need your prayers. Ask God to have mercy on them and open their eyes before it's too late. You can't stand on the side of darkness and think you will ever win. Because whether you know it or not, Satan is, he is just waiting to take you. If you agree to his plan, it's very clear what his plans are. When you start acting like that and then living like that and then choosing that, you're going down a deep, dark hole. You have totally left the path of light and life. You've stepped out of your true destiny. God didn't send anyone this, to this earth to be evil, to hate, and to do violence to kill babies. He didn't send people. You came from him. Everyone did. That's where you came from before you were on this earth. You lived inside of him. He is the father of lights. All those little lights coming in and out of him around his throne are the little spirits of people who will be sent to earth to live here. That's where you were. So when he sent you here, he had a purpose for you to be great for him, to help people, to love. That's why he sent you. So if that's not what's in your soul, make sure you say these words. I choose as an act of my will to lose all violence, all hate, all, all unjust judgment, all criticism, all darkness. I loose it from my soul in Jesus' name. If you truly want to be free of all that stuff, you can do just what was said to you. That is how God takes things out of your soul. It will be like they were never there. Because some people have lost family members, they've lost businesses, they've lost properties, they've lost a lot of things because they chose to go into the darkness. God, no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. It's the righteous he blesses. It's those who want life and help people and bring them hope for a future. No good thing will he withhold from you and all you out there who have had to be under attack or you have a lack in your life right now. I'm talking to the body of Christ. If you're in that place, remind God of that scripture. Father, your word says no good thing will you withhold from those who walk uprightly. I walk uprightly. I trust you. I believe you. I'm on the side of light, of love, of hope, of life. And you begin to see things change in your life. No good thing. That means jobs, properties, homes, blessings, restoration of family members. No good thing will he withhold from you if you're walking uprightly. And God, I bless those right now, Father. I release the anointing into the life of every believer that they will be inspired and excited and begin to celebrate right now the great victory we're going to have in just a few months. You've already Christ. He's already given us a victory. Okay? He's already had the victory over death himself. He's had the victory over sin when you receive him. That's wiped out of you like you never did that. But we're about to personally, in this physical realm, experience one of the greatest victories in our country in November. I would stay focused on that. Don't take your, don't waste your time bashing other people, even though they're wrong and you know what, you can't convince them otherwise. The enemy wants you to bash and hate people, even those who are on the wrong side. We don't wrestle or fight against the flesh, the Bible says, but of spirits of wickedness in high places. That would be the demonic, that would be Satan's army. That's really who's behind this whole entire plot to take over our country, turn it into a communist place. To keep people under control so they own nothing. That's what communism does. It strips you of everything you own. Every right you have. You have no chance to make have your own thoughts or your plans in your life. 
it takes everything away from you and every person will be treated equally even those who've worked hard their whole life and created something communism takes it away I grew up in an era where that was prominent in other countries and stuff. We saw what happened. We knew people would come here and try to convince us of that. We had nothing to do with it. I pray you will have nothing to do. Socialism is a fancy word for communism. And you young people think you want it. You would never have a future. You'd have no future. You'd have no rights. You'd have no land. You'd have no nothing. That's what you get. With God and with justice, liberty, and freedom in America, you can be as great as you want to be, build whatever you want to build, help people wherever you want to help, give where you want to give. You have the right to all of that, but communism takes it all away. That's why these third world countries are having wars and people's lives are being taken. They're taking all their property away. Trust me, ask one of them and they'll tell you, you don't want that in your country. So this is a very spiritual battle going on because Satan doesn't just want your property and want you to stop, be stuck in communism. He wants your soul. Don't give it to him. He didn't make you. He doesn't love you. He only has bad plans for you. I've seen him too. I've been to heaven and I know God. I know he's true. I know why he has plans for greatness in this country. I know why he wants Trump to be our president for four more years. And then after that, we're still going to have years. We'll have years and years of righteousness in the White House. So I don't know what you're going to do. If you're still fighting against it, we, we just need to pray for you. Because God has a 24-year plan for the White House. And this is all just the beginning. I am excited about what this country will become. It will be a place people will come to find God, not just the American dream. And so let me tell you, there is a battle going on, and the enemy is terrified of the words I am speaking. This little pink-haired female, he is terrified of me because I speak truth. I'm not afraid to say it. I live the truth. I don't just talk about the truth. I live holy on purpose because it makes me dangerous against hell why be holy isn't that boring absolutely not you get to reach the highest places in ruling and reigning in the spirit realm you send satan running and screaming you burn his demons with the fire of god that lives in you you speak truth and things begin to happen we are supposed to be creators like our god we create atmospheres we bring hope we bring life that's because you're speaking those words. Your words do have power. Don't let the enemy tell you or whisper in your ear, you have no power. It's all going to be taken away. Turn your head and go, you are a liar. You may go back to hell. I'm too busy working God's plans. He won't like it. You should be raising your children up to be just that passionate about the things of God. Don't hide God from them. And live like you're supposed to in front of them. Even if you've been in your homes, I hope you've been having a wonderful time sharing God, sharing heaven, celebrating with Him about what's ahead in your lives. Let your children know the best things are yet to come because God has plans for your children beyond your imagination. I thought this was about the Trump 2020. Oh, I am. And these things will be able to happen because He will win this year in November, I have it from the highest voice in the land that God has a plan. And as long as Trump wants to be president, no one is going to stop him from winning. And thank you, God, that the other's eyes will be open and their hearts free and their sins forgiven who've been paying for the violence let me tell you, I've got about 5,000 really good black friends. And I mean, we're friends. And we have a lot of fun together. I love to go and speak for them. I actually do things not even just when I'm speaking with them. And we get along great. God sent us all from heaven, no matter what the color of your skin is. We are a family. And it says every tongue, tribe, and nation will be represented in heaven. So if you don't like blacks, get that out of your soul too.
They may have... each other. He's behind all of that violence and that hate because we can't get our heads just up from before our hand and understand the operations of the spirit realm. We think all there is is what we see and yet the Bible clearly says all that is seen was made by that which is unseen. There's more in the unseen realm than there is in the seen realm. And there's so much more activity for us in the unseen realm than there is in the seen realm. And I'm not just talking about America right now. I'm talking to the entire world. If you are watching this, no matter what country you're in, start declaring that life and hope and justice and freedom is coming to your country. Don't just complain to people and say how awful it is. You're just repeating hell's plans. Don't advertise hell. How about marketing heaven and their plans? Because God has great things for you. He wants you to know him, to belong to him, to complete the destiny he sent you here. He didn't just decide to throw people down here when he felt like it. He had it planned even before there was time on this earth. Even time comes from him. He has eternity inside himself. Everything that you see was made by him. Everything that will ever be made will be made by him. He works together with his son. God the Father speaks the word, and then the word, or Jesus Christ, goes and he makes it. Why can't we work together like them? Did you know in the Bible, Jesus says, Father, me and you and you and me, I pray that one day they be one even as we are one. Do you know what that means? That Christ was saying, Father, I pray that one day they can step into us and we all together can be one. How about that? The one who made everything that was ever made would think that about you. So no matter what people say about me, I know who I am. I am a daughter of the Most High God. I am a blood-bought believer who lives the Word and doesn't just talk about it. I am someone who despises evil. I hate Satan. We're allowed to hate him. Don't ask God to forgive him. It isn't going to happen. The fallen angels won't be forgiven. Satan will never be forgiven. If you go to a church that teaches that, leave it and find another one that teaches the truth. If you're in a church that says it's okay to sin and freely sin, leave it. That is not the truth. When we repent of our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You are never supposed to carry sin on the inside of you. When you receive Christ, every sin you ever committed is wiped away like it never happened. But from that day forward, any time you sin, you have to repent. Why? Because then you'll have darkness in you. They don't allow darkness in heaven. Why would they let the whole world come to heaven without Christ? And heaven would be just like this world. This world is not heaven. But it also is not hell. And if you don't understand, they both are real. You are working for one side or the other. So I hope this entire broadcast encourages you to take a second look at your soul. What am I saying? How am I living? What choices am I taking? Because those things I just mentioned, that's called manifesting. So if you want to be a manifested son or daughter of God, those things, what you say, the choices you make, and how you live, what those are happening in you right now shows you who you're representing. A manifested son or daughter of God will represent God himself 
They will walk in great power, great authority. They will speak and things will shake and things will be moved and things will happen. The earth is crying out for the manifested sons and daughters to stand up and start living like what they were called to be. Someone in the earth who won't compromise, who won't step back in their, in their relationship with God, but will run forward with him and get on the fast, fast track like a racetrack. To be propelled ahead of the pack who think they know what's going on and are only talking about the end of the Bible. This is not the end. The tribulation is not about to start. The horses of the apocalypse are still in the barn. Nothing has been loosed on the earth right now. There is no Antichrist even on the earth right now. We've got quite a few generations left on the earth. To be great for him, inventions waiting that have never been invented yet, Five major diseases that will not exist on the earth that work very soon at one time. This is what God has plans for. What Satan has plans is he wants America so bad. Because he knows God is talked about here. He's in our papers. He's mentioned in our flag. He's mentioned everywhere by those who know him. America is a gift from God. And he's not letting anyone take it away from him. So I want to encourage you and let you know major things are actually happening right now. You want to know why there's so much darkness out there you see now? It's called exposing. He had me say well over a year ago that he was going to be exposing great darkness in the earth. That's in people, not places, not about countries. It's about people who are in authority in leadership, in the media, it doesn't matter where they are, they, they're not hiding from him. He sees those meetings with the Democrats and wicked people and the liberal news mixing with them behind closed doors. Do you think any door could be closed on God? I don't think so. He knows every word you're speaking. He knows every thought you're having. He knows every dollar you're giving into the darkness. He knows it. And he's going to rip a lid off and everyone will know what's really been going on behind closed doors isn't that what news is all about we're supposed to give the news the truth not biased not just bashing and crushing not lies cheating and stealing not unjust things being said about people the news brings hope it shows you what's really going on. It should inspire you and encourage you. That's why the broadcasting was ever created. Don't let the enemy control yours. And don't watch the fake news. Fake news. Fake, fake news. Fake news. Don't let the fake news be your news. Okay, because they're still lying. And trust me, one of those networks is going to be lost. Because God is even tired of hearing it, and so is heaven. They're tired of people not giving the true news, not giving news that helps, that gives hope. God doesn't want to crush you and take everything away from you. That's not from him. But he gives life and life more abundantly. I'm sure that I'll have another uh, section of this broadcast later on. We may do a Q&A session right now. You know, obviously, I can't see any of the questions that you're sending. We do like your questions, and we haven't had one in a while. Maybe we'll do Q&A America. And uh, so if you send in the comments a legitimate question that you're really curious to know about, because I'm sure there's things I haven't mentioned. I know education is still on people's minds, you know. If you're still waiting on your job to open, maybe you're not in a state that's being true. I think they forgot they were for the people. This is for the people by the people, not for the people by the politicians, not those who think they're dictators and can control the people. If you don't understand this, all you governors and you mayors, you're going to lose your seat because those people who voted you in will not want you to remain. I would encourage everyone when these midterm elections come up for the governors and for the mayors, make sure you vote for the ones standing for a life and not death. 
Remember what they did to you when they kept your city or your, or your state under their hand so you could do nothing. Don't forget that. And you use your right to vote, to vote them out. Those who stand for life and liberty and freedom and justice, you vote for those people. Those who will help us. But the other side, I believe what a prophet has recently said, that they believe because of the way the Democrats have been acting and cheating and stealing and keeping people uh, not filled with the truth, that they may even lose their voice. This is not me prophesying it. I'm repeating what a prophet <coughs> said. They believe that one day the Democratic Party's voice will be like dust because of what they've been doing in these last two terms, this last time um, in America, the last four years and even before that, and what their plans are. If they win, that won't be a win for us. Make sure you vote on election day. Make sure you cast your vote in a place that's actually going to record it. Don't let people bombard you and tell you lies about what they have got planned. If it's a Democratic Party, they literally have no plans. That's why they're failing. But vote for the side of light, liberty, justice, and freedom. That would be President Trump. Pray for him. Let him know that you will appreciate what he's done in this country. And that's why God chose him. He will accelerate America so quickly beyond even where it was when this whole virus thing hit. I want to remind you, it is a virus. It's not a disease, and it's not a plague. And it's not good to wear the masks all the time if you feel like you have to. Make sure you breathe clean air, not recycle. Make sure you don't wear a mask when you're driving, when you're bicycling, when you're outside, okay? Don't wear one in your own home because it's not that good. It recycles your own air and you're not getting fresh oxygen. So remember, trust God, love one another, pray for those who disagree with you and want to bash, forgive them all so nothing will be held to your account. Let God be God and let Him be true. That's who I trust. We definitely should trust the president because God put him there and he will have him there again. But our hope is in Jesus Christ. I will see you later. Woo hoo.